Howdy, Jaybird here. Today I'm going to be showing you Gift of Tulips. This is from Weird Giraffe Games, designed by Sarah Perry. It is for ages 8 and up, 2-6 to six players that plays in about 20 minutes. This is a prototype copy, so some of the icons on the box, the box art itself may have a few tweaks, and some of the artwork on the cards may have some changes as well. This game is all about exploring Amsterdam's Tulip Festival, giving each other the flowers, affecting the market value of the flowers for the end game, and then scoring points based on the flowers in your bouquet at the end. So come along with me, I'm going to show you how to set up and then play the game itself. For this setup, I'll be showing you how to set up a three player game. There are minor differences uh, if you're playing with a different player count. So to start, since we don't have five or six players, we will be removing any card that has the five or six player icon, including tulips and the festival market cards. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out. We're going to give each player a score tracker, scoring cube, and a reference card. And everyone will be starting at zero points. We will take the four festival cards, laying them in a row, showing first, second, third, and fourth place, and place the tulip value card next to them with the four tulip score value trackers starting at zero currently. We'll take all of the tulip cards shuffled and then remove a certain number of cards based on player count. In this three player game, we'll be removing four at random and do not show them to any player. Those will be put into the box and not used for this game. Next, we will reveal two tulips from the tulip deck face up to the middle of the table. Now, these need to be two different tulip colors Otherwise, the second one drawn will be put back in the deck and the deck reshuffled and draw again. Now, the higher value one will go into the first place spot. The second one will go into second place. Now, if these were the same value, you put the first one drawn into first place and second one in second. Go ahead and update the tulip value tracker as well to, to match the current value of that tulip color. So in this case, the blue tulips will be at 4, the orange at 3. Deal two cards to each player, and each player will then look at these cards, choosing one to put face up in front of them starting their bouquet, and one face down to start the secret festival market pile. So at this point, there should be a card for, from each player in the secret festival stack. So the starting player should be the person with the most colorful outfit. On your turn, you have a choice of three actions. We always start by drawing a card and performing one of the three actions. After you perform that action with the card, you'll draw a second card and perform a different action. So let's go over the three possible actions. So let's say this yellow player was the first player. They draw a card, look at it, and choose to either keep it and put it in their own bouquet. They could give it to a different player to put it, to have it in that player's bouquet. Or you can add it to the festival. Now, when you add it to the festival, you have the choice of having it face up or adding it to the secret festival deck. If face up, you compare the total value of that color within the festival to determine the new placement. If you create a tie between two colors in the, f in the festival row, the newer color becomes first. So you slide the previous one back and add it in. Now as the game goes on, the cards will add up and you add up the value at the top of each card in that row. So that was action number one. You take a second card and perform a different action. So since it was added to the market, it needs to either go into its own bouquet or given to another player. So when you give to a, another player, you have a choice of points and you also can possibly gain points if you keep it. Now, in this case, if yellow kept it, 
there's a keep value in the third and fourth player spots. If you look at the bottom right icon, it shows you holding onto a flower. If it was in third place, it would get you one point. Fourth place would get you two points. Since this tulip color is not in the festival yet, it is currently worth two points to keep. Now, this color, if you were to give it away, also has a value. But it's kind of the opposite in that the higher up in the festival, the more valuable it becomes. So if it was in first place, you get three plus the number on the card. Second place is two plus the number. Third place is one plus the number. Fourth place, the only value for giving is the number on the card. Gameplay progresses until the whole tulip deck has been used. And at that point, all players will have, an e have had an equal number of turns. Whenever a tulip is added to the face up mark festival market, you should be updating the value on the tracker as an easy way to, to know which one is ahead in their total value so you don't have to add up every other time. That way you can also have a, tall, a smaller table space by keeping the cards stacked. Once all cards have been played from the tulip deck, then we go to the end of game process. So at the, it may look something like this for the three player game I was showing before, where everyone is going to have a various amount of tulips that they have been either given or kept throughout the game. The tulip market will have fluctuated and we've kept track of their overall value. And we also have the secret festival deck. At this point, we'll take the secret festival deck, shuffle it, and end up drawing five cards one at a time to update the festival market. Now we could just score points based on majority number of flowers of each color in our bouquets. So starting with the first place color, in this case the purple, you count the number of flowers cards you have in your bouquet. So over here we have four, two, and two. First place with majority control is going to get 15 points added to their score. Second place will get 10. In this case, both are tied for second. Two players have the same number of tulip cards when checking for majority. The person with the higher value tulip cards breaks the tie and wins it. If players are still tied after checking for the tulip value, then both players receive the same amount of points. Yeah, so this was Gift of Tulips by Weird Giraffe Camps. It's, as you can see, it's super easy to learn fast to play, and it just has amazing artwork with the blue and white Delphware patterns of the Netherlands, the windmills and the tulips that just are really relaxing to be playing with as well. Um, there's very few games on the market nowadays that intentionally flip the switch and make it so giving resources away to a different player is the one of the best paths of victory in the game. Thank you for watching, and as always, play games and spread joy.